It's, I feel like it's a certain type of man that says that. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, just to have something to say. <laughs> the pussy's loose, so why are you in that? Elias, Multiple why would times. You even say that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, mm. bro, you didn't stop after you found out it was loose? <laughs> so, what are you why are you telling me? Who does this look bad on now? Me? Or maybe <laughs> her or you? Some people just share, some people share information and they don't realize it's their L. It's mm -hmm. not the other person's L. Yeah. It's yours. Thank you for telling me. Now I can laugh at you. Mm -hmm. Offering me your bullshit. <laughs> Offering me your bullshit. <laughs> Be careful. Behave yourself. My name is Daddy Rico. This is one take and my name is... All that good shit. I'm your host, motherfucker. Um, we are powered by Rare Network. Motherfucker, no edits, no gimmicks, no cosign, none of that nonsense. Take time to shout out the family that came to sit down on the couch with me and conversate, con converse, <laughs> platforms, socials, all that good stuff. Hey, my name is Loka. Um, follow my Instagram at Local Princess. You know what it is. <laughs> no underscores. Um, so... Y'all know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Uh, ring off a notification bell and all that good stuff. You know, um, first question of the day. Um, can a woman handle two husbands? Can a woman handle two husbands? Yeah. How you feel about that? I think that, um, honestly, I would say it's tough because it's just like, ugh. Being in a woman's position, it's kind of just like it's tough having one one man. Yeah, <laughs> to be honest, saying. it's tough having one man. That's what I'm imagine saying. Imagine two, just like imagine what the woman's going through. She may look like you know you may think that she's enjoying it, but some I don't think I would say I don't know. That's, That's temporary. Tough. It's tough, yeah. Temporary type of thing. So for me, I don't think a woman could do it because. Um, sexually, she can't do it. Mm. You know, um, family-wise, she can't give them both children at the same time. Like, and I don't think men are willing to wait their turn. Mm. You know, to have a child mm. with a woman. Um, she can't meet their needs. She like she can't meet her wifely needs for two men. Mm. It's not gonna work. That's the reason why they're stay home wise and these things. Uh, you know what I mean? Like. She can't do that two times. Imagine coming home, they satisfy. You have to satisfy two men every day. Yeah, that's crazy. Every day, like it ain't a joke, and it's not just sex either. Mm. You have to satisfy them. Mm. Sex is just one of those things. You know, you don't have sex every single day, but a husband, two of them, you can't have them in the same house. It won't work. Not in my opinion. That was like. like when you asked the question, I was kind of just like, are we talking about... Because there's some a woman who actually have to have two husbands. They live in the same household as two, you know? And it's kind of just like, whoa, how do they do that? But it's just like... When mm. have you seen that happen? Ooh. I personally don't know Ooh. a single... I, I don't I don't know a single <laughs> case. I don't have ever heard of it. Really? No. No? no? She, she, she can fuck multiple men. Mm. She has sex with multiple men. Mm. She does not have two husbands. Mm. Okay. Maybe many of them want to marry her. Maybe all of them want to marry her. <laughs> but two of them have not. And it lasts a lifetime. Mm. That's true. It's not. Yeah, maybe there's men that you could probably make think that they want it. They don't. They, men, it's not something men, even a weak man, yeah. is built for. Everything. That's not the same as sharing your girl or sharing a girl. That's not the same. Mm -hmm. This is your wife. That's true. In any capacity, if a man even doesn't care about his wife, that's just not going to work. Mm -hmm. Not in my opinion. You have any concluding thoughts? You have anything else to say on that? No, I actually agree with you. Like, you know, not thinking, like, you don't really think about it. It's just like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm 
man might be willing to take Monday, Thursday, Saturday, whatever, yeah. right? To a girl, mm -hmm. but he's not doing that in his home. Yeah. That's my point still. He's not doing it in his home. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. Should you delete nudes? Take it as you may. Other people's nudes. Mm -hmm. I would not. I would not. You would. I feel like it wouldn't like like saving nudes. Like there's no point of doing it. Cause it's just like you get with another person. What in relationships nowadays? For sure, that girl's checking your phone. <laughs> like you know, it's just like, like you know. If they're gonna find that you're gonna have to delete it anyway. So it's just like why keep them. You know what I'm saying? It's just like you should do. Like you should do it. Like it's you, like you shouldn't. Why would you keep them? Uh, what like you, you just go to porn if you want to see some naked bitches but it's just like I, why why keep other people's needs i hear what you're saying still you know but the <laughs> i i now that you said that though right it kind of opened up my eyes to something else right like how come that's not viewed as the same as kind of a porn hub thing like that kind of is the same right someone like, that you dealt they're with. both pornography yeah like, like which someone, means i'm attracted some, which yeah, means, which means you're attracted, but it's just like you're disrespecting them. It's like me having pictures of niggas, like you know. I and think you're it's going disrespectful if you're sharing. Like, if you're sharing, yeah. But just having it on your phone, it's just like that's just disrespectful itself, like you know. Especially if they, I, I don't know, I don't know. That's just my opinion. So is that an expectation? Like you should be deleting <laughs> nudes when you're done with people? You could have it until you get into a relationship. By all but, means, do what you got to do. But it's just like. You know? But most people in relationships aren't really getting nudes. It's other. It's outside the relationship. Like, but realistically, let's be real. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What are you saying? Like, <laughs> it's like girls when they're in relationships aren't really sending nudes to their boyfriend. It's other guys. Like, their boyfriends aren't really getting nudes because they're getting the pussy. Like, if you get what I'm saying. If you get what I'm saying. Hmm. Hmm. It's a thought. I don't get it. You don't get it. No. What are you trying to say? Yeah, I like. What do you mean? Well, I have, I have this, I have this, <laughs> I have this. It's more than a theory because it's proven. But you know what I mean? That women do more for guys who are not their boyfriends. Just in general. Do more for guys that are not their boyfriends. Yeah. Okay, meaning that like, what the guys probably not treating them right. Like, no, not necessarily yeah, because on the it girl, can go like, the same way for guys. Now that I said it out loud. Because in the chase of new pussy, niggas do that shit too. Hmm. So, I now that I said it all out, I, I, I collected on that yeah, one too. I play, I play devil's advocate always. Okay, but... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, but... Sorry, I don't know what you're talking about, baby, but... Hmm. You want two facts? You know, um, so I'm gonna give you my stance because I was really kind of just by the way what you said. <laughs> I mean, I mean, naturally, I I have everything on anything I've ever had on my phone is there, like naturally, because I don't delete anything. It's now that I need space on my shit. I delete certain things that I can see. Like I don't go back and whatever. I'm looking for large files. You know what I mean? Like so. Answering the question, should you delete nudes? I mean, yeah, maybe that's a respectful thing to do. But a motherfucker like me really don't delete stuff. Like, not, like, I delete stuff when I need space. And I'm not looking for small files, like a picture. I'm looking for large files, large videos, you know? Mm. <laughs> so it's not even like... I'm not scheming and I've never shared anyone's nudes in my life. Like, I've never shared that. anyone's news in my life, so I don't see it as a problem if it just so happens to be there months later. <laughs> I don't. You know? It's so bad. I'm, I'm also okay. Listen, if I, I'm a man, I'm not like women do that kind of shit. Oh, just delete everything, everything, ripping pictures and all this shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, when you're done with a guy, like, maybe me. Like, what the hell? Like. I'm not scornful, I'm not spiteful, the, like, I, I, 
What am I deleting I everything I've ever known you to touch out of my life? And see, that's the that's the guy's mindset though. Like, cause I'm now that you're telling me this, and it's just like you're ringing bells. Like my brother used to, like my brother told me, like you know, I don't go through my pictures to go delete them. Like you know, if you find it, you find it. But it's just like shit. Like it's every guy like true. that. My ex is like that too. Like it's just like yeah, I found pictures of all his. You know, it's just like what. It's like, why didn't you delete this? But I'm just noticing now that, like, you guys just have your own mind, like, type of <laughs> way of thinking of things. But, like, we us are not girls the same. are just different mindsets. So, just like, wow. We are not the same. It's crazy. Just realizing it. It's just like, wow. Mm -hmm. But you guys need to realize and understand our side of things because, you know. <laughs> I see your side of things, but it clashes with our side of things, right? But now you have an answer for why, you know, at the end of the day. You know, what? like I go. No, <laughs> no finish. I'm listening. I'm with you. No, I got like now. I understand you guys. Like you know, you guys. It's not like you guys do it. In yeah, you guys. <laughs> yeah, it's not intentional. It's not intentionally, but it's just like you know. Because think about just it. Dumb and just like you know. <laughs> you see all the messages from from I've had the phone. You're gonna see all the messages. You're gonna see if you want to go through. You're gonna see everything from the I've had that phone. I never wow. deleted anything. It's all there. If you want to say something, you go dead, dead, dog. Everything from the beginning of that phone, from the moment I've had that phone. Uh, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I get it, I get it. so if, if you should, I think that there should be an understanding there that if it's not just the nudes that's not being deleted, nothing else is being deleted, then maybe it's really not intentional. Mm. You know, motherfuckers just don't be deleting shit. You know what I mean? Fuck. <laughs> but whatever, whatever, whatever. You have anything else to say on that? No. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Why do people jump into rebound relationships? <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I would say. Really hard topic. <laughs> now thinking about it, is, I don't know. To me, it's kind of just like I don't really do that. It's just like I just focus on myself right after. It's just like that's many girls. I think that what they do, like they just focus on themselves. I feel like it's more like of a male thing to stop into like a rebound relationship. Females will just deal with people right after, but it's just like you know we wouldn't take it to the a relationship level. I agree. You agree? Whoa! I didn't expect to hear that answer. I didn't expect, honestly. I didn't expect to hear It's that. definitely one of it's def <laughs> no. It's definitely a perspective, and I agree with that. Like, yeah. Why not? Mm. You know, mine mine would be similar. Why not? Right? Like, mm, that's what I would. That's you know that's ideal, right? But but in reality, I just think people, you know. Naturally, I think sex runs the world, right? Yeah. So, in turn, sex runs the world, and men thrive to have things that can get them sex, which is money, which can get you the cars, which can get you the house, which can get you, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, money runs the world, but is it really the money or is it the sex? Because we're doing the things we do so that we can have women. Mm -hmm. So, um, hold on. So, if I think sex runs the world, right? And that's basically what is going on. Um, I want to I wanna explain this properly. I think, I think people always need to have somebody and not just somebody. Like, someone to have relations with. Mm. You know what I mean? Um, sex is important for us. It's actually a connection builder. You know, it's sex. What for? What sex is is a connection builder. Yes, it is pleasurable in many ways. You know, obviously, but think of when you like somebody. How much that sex intensifies the feelings. Mm. You know what I'm saying. Mm. Men and women on, are kind of. We can we can front on that, but it is what it is. Yeah. It intensifies feelings there, 
no matter how minimal they may be. It's because you see them in a different light. Whether I choose to treat you like I care is a difference, right? Mm. But we're getting to know each other right now. Because without the sex, I really can't truly know you. Because that's the next, that's, 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 the, that's the final chapter, if you get what I'm saying. Yeah. We can talk, we can, you know what I'm saying? Okay. But. Okay. And but, I think, I don't know. I don't think that that's the lens of, like, I don't know. If that's like. I don't think like sex should be a reason for I don't know. A reason for what? I don't know. Sex like I don't know. It should be more but that's the guy's mindset then again. That sex, you know, you, you have temptations and stuff. But there's ways to control your temptations. Men lead with sex. For sex. You know what I'm trying to say? Mm-hmm. Men lead with sex. I'll say that. But it's just like Nowadays, it's just like, whoa, it's now to a point where you're just like cheating on your partner and just like being with them. And then normally those relationships... It depends on what you consider cheating. And then those sex through sex, like you're saying, through sex. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then those rebound relationships end up being someone you were fucking with. So this is my thing, right? So if you leave someone, right, and you end up in a rebound relationship with someone that you was fucking with, right... Why didn't you just stick with your relationship? <laughs> Why did you leave your relationship to do that? That's my all. I, I never understand this. Like, <laughs> why give up if that's all you're going to go do and continue to do every time you give up on somebody new? You're always just going to give up on the next person. So it's a, it's a and then it's just be beer rebounds because it's just giving up and rebounds, giving up and rebounds. <laughs> get my point <laughs> do you get my point mm. because i'm big okay, listen i'm big on like families sticking together mm. right and to do so you got to get the fairy tale picture that your parents and your grandparents sold you right because they protected us right you know what i mean um they didn't get where they got with no pain <laughs> No suffrage, right? Mm -hmm. I strongly believe, yo, Bob Marley said it, bro. Love is who you choose to suffer for. And it's a fact. That's what love is. Because it's not just the, the happiness. Yeah. And that's what people are just chasing, only the happiness. Mm -hmm. Only. And it's not possible. Yeah. It's not possible. You don't want to argue, never. Listen, as much as I don't argue, it's bound to happen <laughs> with somebody you, you, you intimate with like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's facts. I agree with you. So, <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> what, what do you want to say? Um, I think we're good. You think you're good? I think I'm good. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Moving right along. Um, are you willing to take the vaccine to travel? Why not? I don't know. That thing's not touching my body. <laughs> See? Yeah. That thing's not touching my body. That needle, like, no. Like, I, I, it's just like, I'm not gonna, like, I want to, like, as much as I do want to travel, I mean, like, I wouldn't get the shot. And that's like many people right now. It's just like, they don't trust. I'm on your side. The needle. I'm on your side. Mm. I'm not doing that either. <laughs> I don't need to. Like, nah. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm not a part of your experiment, so. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. I'm straight. I don't, I don't, I don't like no type of medicine, so get your mind straight. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I don't care. Mm. I really don't want to, so you know what I mean? Mm. But, um, let's see. Yeah, that's what the question, sorry, I was reading the question again. <laughs> 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 no, because, listen. It's coming fast because everyone's complying, right? Mm -hmm. And I think they're inflating the numbers to make people comply as well, right? Yeah. I think that day, the other day when they were saying, oh, 65% of Ontario is vaccinated. I, I don't believe that. Mm -hmm. I don't believe that on no level. Um, so I felt like that number definitely made people just go and get it. Mm -hmm. Because it's like, fuck. 
you know what I mean, everyone else is, and that's how the, that's how people kind of work, right? <laughs> you know what I mean, right? That's just like the rap game, right? You would just, you ain't cool till you cool, and that's it. <laughs> you know, I'm everyone complying is gonna bring not just this vaccine. It's gonna be a vaccine passport for everywhere. And and and, and the more we comply, the faster it's gonna come. And this is the first time people don't understand. You motherfuckers don't understand. You know, this is the first time we've ever seen all governments working as one right that one world order that we've been we've been talking about since children right um <laughs> i mean we're seeing everything they said was supposed to happen mm. one by one by one by one and we're still choosing not to believe we've never seen all governments the whole world work on one unit mm. with the same vaccines like, we have, like, this is, bro, this is not going to be good. Yeah. The more compliance, they're going to finally, they're closest, they're the closest they've ever been. Mm. <laughs> and it's the people who are, like, blind to it and they, they don't see. But that's the thing, like, that's how it always been. Like, even through TV, like, shows, Disney, through Disney, like, my, like remember sitting there watching Disney? Like, Disney. It's crazy, like, what they're doing, and it's just, like, it's, it's all right in front of us, and we're so blind to see it. People I'm dissecting so it now. You gotta open your eyes sometimes you gotta, to it, see the bigger picture. That's, that's life. That's honestly life, and sometimes... I agree. Like, I agree. Let's blend that up. Oh, that's good. Um, no, I agree. I agree. Bigger yeah. picture, right? Everybody's looking only right in front of them, so all they can see, right? Right. Um... I'll we'll move on. Mm. This is a great question. Does Drake deserve rapper of the decade? I, I think he does. Honestly, mm -hmm. I think he does. Like looking at him, you kind of just like he's a huge motivation, especially living in Toronto. Mm -hmm. Like. He's he's rich as like he's rich as fuck. Yeah, facts. Yeah. <laughs> Holy huge! You see this guy's brand on buildings and stuff. People put, like Drake's face, Drake's music, his voice, his everything. Yeah. Just you know, mm. just is like a huge motivation. And it's just, like, his music attracts people. He relates to people. And it's just like most people say that like, he didn't start from the like you know you were hitting on the video, music video start from the bottom. Like really, like you know yeah I understand he didn't you know. Kind of had a little head start, but that's everybody. Like people have a head start, and like listen, people are at different levels. Listen, listen, exactly <laughs> right. Man's have to stop hating where people started from. So I had to grow up to realize that. So yeah. you know, when it comes to Drake, you gotta give him his flowers. You gotta give him his flowers. You know, a lot of people ain't gonna like this, but you know what I mean. Listen, I know y'all want the rapidy rap. You know what I mean. All that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. Whatever. You know the Kendricks of the world, but. If you really want to tally shit up, like Drake is the biggest artist of all time. Like ain't no, ain't no takesy backsies. Ain't no, ain't no recounts. Um, whether you like it or not, he is the biggest artist of all time. You know what I mean? <laughs> what? You, he's not even Michael Jackson. He's left that platform a long time ago. Mm. He's already surpassed that. Whether you want to believe it or not, you know. Um, Michael had music on the airwaves like crazy, like crazy, like crazy, like crazy. But like Drake, this nigga Drake. Mm. Listen, and I don't, I don't even, I don't even like Drake like that. Everybody know that. <laughs> but you gotta give, you gotta give it up. You gotta get a flowers where this do. No, listen. Whether you want to face it or not, Drake has made culture waves. Boom. Whether you want to. Call it, bro, because he's light skinned he's allowed in certain arenas. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I've I've said the same things, but in comparison to certain people, yes, it is true. But hold on, let me move this over a little bit because they want they gotta see this. <laughs> okay, listen. When you get as many streams as Drake, okay, you because they because the conversation is that comparable to physical copies. Listen, it don't matter. A billion is a billion, mm. no matter which way you spin it. <laughs> That's a lot. And then he's got more than that. You know what I'm saying? Times that. So it's it's just, yo, can you name another artist that's even close to that? No, never. Not even all time. So it's like, 
why can't you just give it up where the man just let him get his flowers he actually listen there hasn't been a year he wasn't number one there hasn't been an album that wasn't number one there hasn't been a time where his feature wasn't number one Annoying. there hasn't been a like <laughs> Whether you like it or not, you know his songs. <laughs> That's facts. <laughs> like, there's no other rapper you could give it to. You can't say Jay Z, uh -huh. not as a rapper. That's facts. You can't say Jada Kiss. You can't say Kendrick. You can't say Nas. You can't say J Cole, <laughs> and that's my guy. Yeah, that's like you can't say none of these guys. No name is comparable to Drake mm -hmm. of all time and in the 2010s where he... <laughs> it's just not comparable. Mm. That's it's actually <laughs> disrespectful. I understand man's want to talk about the pen. But that's actually not what we're speaking about. He is a rapper whether you like it or not. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's been amazing. There's just, there's another, just another person hating on him, but like, based on like all the people that he has supporting him, you're, you're nobody. Exactly. You're nobody. Your opinion exactly. doesn't matter. And I don't, I don't remember. Like, huh? He's up there. Like you just said, you can't change the numbers. <laughs> Shit. And we were having this conversation before. Like your biggest, your biggest supporters are your haters. Facts. And it's just like, you gotta realize that. The haters drive them to make them more, the, the best music, right? Exactly. Look at him. So, you know, and then when you break down what people want to call the R&B tracks, a lot of them kind of are rap tracks, though. So, mm -hmm. you know, obviously not the Marvin Rooms and the, yeah, of the world, you know what I mean? But he does have some pop tracks, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, and he has been coming out with bangers, so that's all you hear on the radio. But I just want to remind people, like, he's not a gangster. So I, just, I just don't know what you expect of him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He's not in the same realm as Chris Brown. You cannot call Drake an R&B artist. Like, he's many. He's many different genres. Mm -hmm. But, like, he is a rapper. You gotta respect that level of it. Like, he is a rapper. Yeah. He's a lover boy. <laughs> yeah, he's not singing on every track. He's not singing on every track. Yeah. But he's rapping on most. Mm -hmm. So. And if you really listen to the lyrics, that guy has talent. Like, you can't take that away from him. He can I drop think bars. He, he can. could like he can't drop the, bars. You know, <laughs> like whether you consider it bars, well, it's the cadence mm -hmm. and the way he delivers it. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's true. The way he delivers and the flow and everything just yeah. And this I don't even really like Drake like that. <laughs> I'm like I'm trying to like I don't really like Drake like that. I'm just it is what it is. That's why just... it is what it is. I cannot change the number. <laughs> It's disrespectful to place another name beside his when you think about the 2010s. Mm. What do you think about the 2010s? Mm -mm. I mean, you have anything else to say on that? Nope. <laughs> Moving right along. Why can't guys date strippers or porn stars? <laughs> that wasn't a part of this one. But if you want to... If you... If you, <laughs> if you <laughs> we can do this one. Yeah, answer. Go ahead. This is all you. This is all you. Okay. No, 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 no. All you. Mm -mm. Oh my goodness. How do you, like he, you would be like emotionally scarred? Wouldn't you be like? I don't know. To be honest, it's just like. If you, mm. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, <laughs> shit! Your bitch is getting fucked every night, but she come back to you. She has that emotion and love for you. That's her job. But it's just like, shoot. What I will say is, I think that guys can and they are. They are, they can and they are, and they're 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 they're, they're marrying them, and and they're having children with them. And it's active. And it's always been active like that. 
But right now, it seems to be on the forefront because we got the WWW that now, right? We can see everything, right? It could be all the way in Saskatchewan. <laughs> it could be all the way in Kazakhstan, right? But we can see it all right here in our living rooms. So, you know, motherfuckers are dating porn stars. I know, but like, you know, like... Ugh. I don't Imagine see why they can't. I don't I know. I don't see why they can't. Like, there's no problem with it. That's it's his like, choice. If you really think about it. But it's just like... You, you and I both know that deep down when they're dating, like, they feel a type of way when, you know, just knowing that. Yeah, it's their job, but imagine another person up with my girl, that type of, you know? Or I really... Think about it. I don't know, but I would, it would be hard for me to try not to think about that. That's something but I can't speak really... on because I don't know the majorities over there still. I really don't still. Personally, I just think and know that I see motherfuckers you doing it. strippers too? Strippers and poor, or and poor stars. Why did I laugh at the question? <laughs> I think it was when you said it, but Listen, honestly, now I really think about it. If you don't like, care, do your thing, bro. Mm, that's true. Do your thing. Do your thing. Listen, the thing is, I'm just ignorant, right? So when I say some shit, it's also like some pimp shit, right? Like, yeah. like I'm going to have to benefit, right? And that just sounds like some pimp shit, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you going to jail, nigga. Like, you can't say shit like that. You pros in the crowd, nigga. What the fuck, nigga? <laughs> but no, real shit. Mm -hmm. Real shit. Like, that's how niggas feel. So I feel like a lot of niggas get in, trying to get some money, feel like they're a pimp for a little while, and <laughs> whatever, whatever, whatever. They don't care about who's it, whatever, whatever. Because realistically... Who, this doesn't look bad on a guy, realistically. It doesn't really look bad on a guy. It doesn't. Really? Come on, let me think about it. You're not going to date him. You're not going to know about it. Mm. Unless he did it publicly. That's what I'm saying, I'm saying right? The same thing where women take their bodies with them and shit. Mm. Right? Is it, uh, niggas do that shit too. A shit, like, relationship like that too. Like, that's an ex relation. Like, that never happened. That's true. Facts. I think it was the girl's position. Even if he had a kid with her. He never had a kid with her. It's not his kid. <laughs> Think about girls too. Like girls need love too, no matter what their job is. <laughs> Little does he know she's at work, fucking all these old niggas. She ain't, she ain't even fucking these niggas. She making these niggas come. She ain't, she ain't fucking these niggas. She just making these niggas come. It's his kid. Ain't no way. It's his kid. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> see the silliest situations <laughs> the silliest situations Motherf yo paternity court is like my favorite motherfucker <laughs> listen let me tell you something let me tell you something motherfuckers is not only is they breeding these girls they purposely breeding these girls okay <laughs> it ain't no accident it ain't no rubber bus it was a plan. You get what I'm saying? Because listen, if you pull out, it worked. The pull out method worked. It's yeah. been working for generations. So you know what I'm saying? Facts. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? Let me, but but let me tell you though. Okay though. All right. All right. All right. Um. Fuck. You know what? Sit, let's do it. Um. Does vagina really snap back? That's the next one. Snap back. Yeah. The, I don't know. This was in. The, I don't know why it was in there. What do you mean by that? Like, does it really, um, like, um, get tight back again? Tight back again? Mm-hmm. So is it really, like, an elastic? Does it, does it get back? Like, does it retract? <laughs> does it go back to regular? <laughs> does it go back to size? After what? After doing what? Just, like... Well, I mean... I mean, we do know that, you. I mean, a man going in the hole can give you just a slight... A slight little openage. Yeah, he's in there. He's a slight little opening. I'm not saying gonna cause man's going like yo I don't believe pussy gets loose in the way man say it. Mm. I think niggas don't understand women's bodies and then vice versa. Because niggas don't really understand like yo, some niggas just don't understand sex, period. Like <laughs> because Shorty be getting wet, wet, like and it, and it, to him. Some niggas really excuse that for loose pussy. Like, what the fuck? No. Oh, okay. It was super slippery and slidey, nigga. Like, but there's just certain things niggas Those just... Those are the niggas that don't get pussy at yeah, all? Yeah, like, you... I, like, like, your opinion is not... You no. a grown man walking around about talking about loose pussy? Nigga, 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 nigga. Not only is the bitches thinking it, the niggas is thinking you got a tiny one, too. Like, it doesn't make sense, my guy. 
I really don't think they get loose, but we do know it does slightly do expand, know. especially during sex. But come on, it doesn't go right back, even if it did scientifically. Come on. It's not going to go right back. Even when you do your hair, right? It doesn't go right back. You know what I mean? What do you mean right back? Like, <laughs> there's a time period that it would... Okay, like, when you... Okay, you straighten your hair, right? If you straighten your hair. Mm -hmm. There's a time period that it would go back to looking like its natural state. Do you get what I'm saying? It's not just gonna go right back. It's like water. You put water in your hair, it goes right back. It's early. Not... So okay, I mean, but there will be a listen, time listen, period, listen. though. <laughs> there's always a process. Remember that. Okay. That's what I'm saying. The okay. process. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. But, but, <laughs> it's like, hmm, because you're asking me, does it get... Yeah, I'm getting... asking you, ask the question, ask the question, <laughs> ask the question. Sorry, sorry. So, like, obviously guys know the difference between good pussy and, you know. I don't think, <laughs> I don't think the majority of niggas do. I don't think, because majority of niggas can't even, majority of niggas don't even have good hygiene, so there's no way... That they even know what good sex is. They just want head and sex because they ain't even clean. So they'll take what they can get. You get what I'm saying? So you're saying good pussy don't do this? <laughs> no, no, never did I ever say that. <laughs> never did I ever say that. No, what I'm saying is I'm saying niggas don't know. Majority of niggas don't know what good pussy is. Majority of niggas don't know what good pussy is. Majority of niggas don't know what good pussy is. Majority of niggas don't even know how to have sex. Right? I... I Majority of people don't know how to have good sex. Yeah. I'll, I'll definitely say that. Because I think with sex, it's something that everybody thinks they do well. Every single person. But you can't tell me you're good at sex and you don't know the other anatomy, much less your own. Mm, that's true. Because you can't know, you can't not know the anatomy and you're just... Mm. <laughs> There's certain sciences in life that you can't beat. Mm. Like, one thing I learned. I thought when you burn something, it just disappears. <laughs> Nothing in life disappears. Mm -hmm. Absolute, absolument. Nothing disappears. It changes into another state, and it's still here. Mm -hmm. It's just a much smaller particle. You know what I'm saying? I agree with you. So, back on track. <laughs> Does vagina snap back? You still haven't really answered. Okay, because yeah, because you, it's just like um, different girls have different vaginas, right? Okay. So it's just like, does it really snap back? I don't the know, average cause... vagina is made in a way where if it snaps back, it snaps back or not. So you get tight again? Yeah, a little, not not all the way virgin, but you know. Come but there back. is there is like, for example, a girl who masturbates a lot. What? There's different types of masturbation. She could just be stimulating her clitoris. Some girls go inside, okay, some girls go... But girls who do the clitoris a lot, mm -hmm. like, that's like an exercise to kind of tighten up your pussy. Yes, so I understand. Like, I've heard that. So it's just like, it could go back to tight if she, like, you know, depending on how much you're going to do this. But shit, like, you know? That's like an exercise because you're sweet. Yeah, you, anyways, girls know, you know, like... I so see it, how I that works in theory. I see how it works in theory. Mm. But because, but because certain things I understand, I don't think that's effective. You don't think it's effective? Not all the way. It may be a part of a bigger scheme if added to other things without having sex at the same time. Mm. But just stimulating your clitoris is not going to keep your pussy but tight. Like, Do you get what I'm trying to say? Okay. I think if you're doing that, not having sex, that. and you're doing other things like whatever you're, you're 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 steaming your vagina and you're you're clean. <laughs> no, you're being no real shit yeah, like real like, hygienic you know, like, shit. Yeah. Like I think all com a combination of things. Yeah. But not not stimulating your no no not stimulating no, your clitoris. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it also <laughs> it also depends like like if the girl just has sex and then after she just like you know she doesn't have sex for a while so then obviously it does get back snap back right without doing having, anything just because she didn't have sex for a while no like you know like like someone having sex, yeah wait nah are you no, sure like about if that? you have sex and then after you don't have sex for a while yeah and then you know it's like, you know what i'm saying yeah and it's just like 
obviously it could not bad because she's not having sex. Because she's, you know, doing other things. Like I said. Ghost Pum Pum is not bad. Yeah, I think <laughs> it's a possibility that in a combination of things that that does happen. But I just think that even I'm flawed in saying that I believe that it does come back to some sort of fashion because if penis doesn't grow any longer, but that's not the same thing, right? You understand? It doesn't, they got, niggas ain't in their 30s just popping out an extra two inches. I'm just saying, but so, you know, that's just the only reason why, why I just thought like, you know what I mean? Like whatever, but. I honestly just don't think pussy gets loose though. Like, you think? Oh, you don't think? I think it expands loose. because it has to. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, and it's spoken about to. a lot. Like, it, you know, yeah. But I necessarily don't think it gets loose where it's open wide and you don't feel it. I don't <laughs> believe that. I just, I just naturally, I, I, me, call well, I me ignorant every- because I, I don't know. I, <laughs> I, I don't know that. I've never experienced that. I don't... I, I I naturally... it's I feel like it's a certain type of man that says that. Mm. You know what I mean? Like Yeah, I just didn't have something to say. <laughs> the pussy's loose, so why are you in that? Elias, Multiple why times. Why you say that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, mm. bro, you didn't stop after you found out it was loose? <laughs> so what are you... T- why are you telling me? Who does this look bad on now? Me? I mean, her or you? Some people just share, some people share information and they don't realize it's their L. It's mm-hmm. not the other person's L. Yeah. It's yours. Thank you for telling me. Now I can laugh at you. Mm-hmm. Offering me your bullshit. <laughs> Offering me your bullshit. You know what I'm saying? But on this note, we'll close out this episode. Okay, okay. And um, shout your out, all your platforms. Thank you for coming and all that good stuff. Okay. Um, see you then. Okay. Loka, out. Um, don't forget to follow my social media at Loka with an X, not an O. That princess. Yow. <laughs> Leave yourself. So y'all know what it is. I am your host, Daddy Rico. This is One Take. We are powered by Red Network. Um, no gimmicks, no cosigns, not no fuckery. You know what I mean. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, ring off my notification bell. Um, we do do this small thing over here at Red Network, and uh, I want to remind y'all to spread love, give love, call your mama, tell her you love her. You know. Um, listen, we've been going through a lot on this earth here that we um living as humans. Motherfuckers is dropping. Call somebody, tell them you love them. We do this every episode, nigga. And if you still haven't listened, you are fuck up. Nigga, call somebody and remind them that you love them. And it will be received. I hope you receive that. I hope you receive love. And I hope y'all motherfuckers wake up happy and start a good week. All that good stuff. Peace easy. And um, we will see you soon. <laughs> All right. Rare Network. Powered by Rare Network. It's powered by Rare Network. <laughs> powered by the Rare Network. Powered by the Rare Network. You already know they're powered by Rare Network. CMT. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos. Remember, Central Sundays live on Instagram each and every Sunday. Click the left for One Take TV podcast or click the right for family time. See y'all soon.